This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you where to get a torch that lasts forever. Let's get to it. So the torch that we are after today is called the Maelstrom Light and as you can see it has no countdown timer or spoil timer or anything like that. It just has durability and it lasts forever. It also puts off a really cool green hue. So really cool light, really cool torch to have and you can get that over here where I I am now let me face the right direction so the arrow helps point you in the right direction so we're over here at the black sail harbor you can see up there in the corner of the map now you're gonna have to fight a bunch of undead to get in here you can kind of run in here but if you do you're probably just gonna have a trail of undead with you but they're not too much to deal with they're your average undead you can see there uh, a little over through well almost 400 uh, HP on those guys there there's some undead dogs here too we're just gonna run up here undead dogs once again not a whole lot of HP and nothing that you or you and a companion should even a low level companion shouldn't be able to handle I do not advise having a companion fight this guy so if you bring a companion with you or a follower and you have it fight all of these guys send it over there somewhere and have it hang out and chill while you fight this guy now you can fight this guy without aggroing those guys back there relatively easily but this guy will definitely put a hurting on your companion uh we, i don't know about some of the higher level tier four named thralls but i tried some tier threes and i tried a bear and he he put a hurting on them they were gonna die i had to had to pull out anyway uh if you don't kill these guys here and here and you just manage to get in here somehow you like swim around the side or run over and break aggro because you can do that like you can drop down here if you have aggro with them you can come over and get into the water break aggro and stuff and then you know climb up the side there if you wanted to but if you do that kind of stuff and you get too close to the edge here you will grab aggro from those guys i advise soloing this guy he's not very difficult to solo he will hit you really freaking hard but you don't need anything too crazy to solo him a shield and a sword that's pretty much it now i like to use the bane of the dead you can get this from delving short swords it applies the undead poison on them so it's super handy and makes a lot shorter work of this guy so if we uncloak here get his attention hey hey buddy hey hey here you go so he hits really hard but if you kind of just step to the side you can just kind of get some pokes in on him block and then step to the side and then basically just rinse and repeat this over and over again he does do a large chop down that there which will break through your shield but if you just take your time and just keep sidestepping him and you can keep that poison and you can see it's hitting him for 50 damage a second there which is a really good damage you can see we're take we're taking a bit of a beating here but he hits hard really hard uh let's try not to take a beating here I don't know why my block's not working. Block. If worse comes to worse, you can bail out really easily by jumping down in the water. I don't know why he was getting through my block with some of those attacks. He should not have been able to do that. And as you saw, he does corrupt you if he hits you. So let's try this again. Maybe I can do a little bit better showing here. So hit him a couple of times and uh, make sure you hold block, sidestep, poke. And then just keep sidestepping because he attacks in, in a line, as you see there. And then we can just keep sidestepping and rinse and repeat over and over and over again. And uh, let the poison do the work. That's that's pretty much it. It's, it's uh, one of those fights that's going to be very grindy. But it's not a difficult fight to do. Anyway, you get the idea. Hit, sidestep, hit, sidestep. And let the poison slowly do its work. And if we kill him... There you go. You can see he dropped it. Now, he doesn't always drop it. I've killed him a couple of times and it didn't drop. So what I want to do is we'll let him respawn. I have it on instant respawn. Uh, it should kick in here in a second. I will kill a bunch of them and give you an idea of how often that it drops. So here we go. We got a pile of dead bodies here. Uh, you can see he did not drop it there. He apparently also drops a weapon called the Evening Star. And he did not drop it there. Did not drop it there. Or there. 
or there. And then there, that one did. So out of all of these, he apparently also drops the Morning Sun as well, which is a blunt two-handed axe with Sunder on it. Does 73 damage, but there is the Maelstrom Light there. So out of all of these, we ended up with one that dropped it. So it's a relatively low chance. I'd say probably one in 10 for him to uh, actually drop it. And he's kind of a pain to farm. Now, I tried to find a way to cheese him. I found a couple of spots where you can run to, like you can run to here, but he will eventually reset. Uh, you can spear him here and uh, kind of get him stuck and spear through here. I'll try to show you that real quick. Okay, so if you kite him over here, let's see if we can manage to kite, and then you stand right here, you can see that he just stands there, and then you can spear him through here. But he has a buttload of freaking health at 17,377. So if you want to stand here and chew through a couple of spears to slowly bust him down, it, it could work. I got bored with it really quickly because he has so much HP and uh, there is a chance that he will run back and regen his health. Now you can kind of get him to, yeah, see, he, he just did it there. So you can give that a shot, but as far as like, a legit way to cheese him. I couldn't find a way to do it. I think the best bet is to to just fight him and uh, dodge him. Kind of just keep sidestepping him and uh, hitting him here. Like if you get really good at it, you can get in a couple hits and then just stay behind him the whole time. Because you can see there like he, he attacks in a line. And you just, all you need to do is just keep that poison on him and let the poison do the work. Okay, that's it. Just, uh, this, this was a quick and short one. Um, just wanted to show you where you could get a torch that lasts forever because it's a really cool item. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.